uh, my second part of this uh, second week uh, lecture uh, is connected with another book uh, which you will uh, which you have already on the platform a campus platform uh, another book but the same author uh, Pierre Odo uh, and uh, the book is uh, uh, different uh, because it's focused uh, mainly on ancient uh, uh, philosophy and exactly in the title uh, the author uh, asked the question what is ancient philosophy and again you can uh, read it as a very important uh, contribution of uh, philosophy uh, but you have uh, many books like this you have uh, many sources available also online and uh, of course uh, we can uh, multiply our knowledge by reading it uh, by um, writing even about about it but uh, in case of Odo it is exactly the same methods which we already saw in his more general approach to the problem of philosophy, what uh, philosophy is a way of life. But here is focused only on uh, ancient. Uh, you will have uh, a lot of concepts new schools, names, uh, which are of course important because knowing names, uh, knowing uh, schools, we, we learn uh, what uh, it uh, mean, uh, what it means for uh, Greek to be a philosopher. So I will uh, repeat uh, already uh, notions which you know from my previous talk, but in a different way. Uh, let's start from Socrates, who was a charismatic teacher of Plato, and uh, I him in our first meeting his life. Uh, but uh, here I want to um, indicate a very, uh, and I would say, uh, complicated even or uneasy relationship between uh, Socrates and Plato, his uh, student who wrote uh, many dialogues. Uh, perhaps we will have time. Uh, to read some of them uh, because it's worth it to, 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 to read them uh, and you will see that every time when Plato writes about certain aspects uh, of um, philosophical uh, aspect of the reality that Uh, starting with this, to discover one of the best dialogue, uh, what Socrates uh, have in mind when when he said love, or what when, what what had in mind. Uh, his uh, uh, when uh, we asked what notions which are very important. But in I would like to draw your attention to certain which is which is not. 
um, namely uh, in one of his letter uh, seven we uh, see a very strange expression that uh, Lato is writing to his students that uh, what is really important uh, in life uh, you others uh, just write down what you think which is very uh, strange curious when you mind that uh, amount of but the same Mato is saying that what is the most important uh, and you want to know what I uh, questions of life you have to because uh, writing down means that your thought that you are thinking is like um, uh, paralyzed. It is a more a vivid way of thinking, developing yourself. When we think philosophically, usually it is a chain of ideas with others. This is seeing, observing uh, in Socrates. So we can speak about system of philosophy. And this is, I think, a very important to our usual way of thinking about, uh, about philosophers uh, of different systems. So we say Platonism. Okay, Platonism means that you consider ideas as a more important than reality around you. But there are other ways of thinking about Platonism. When you consider his books and uh, now me reading uh, the books and, and uh, trying to share with you the most crucial elements of the book, I would say not Platonism, but the way in Socrates. Okay, so Platonism is nothing stable, is not system, but it is more what is important in our life. Next, a huge again system of Aristoteles. Aristoteles we have already the third version of philosophers. And perhaps for us today we don't have only to, to focus our attention on, on uh, Greek of uh, century before we have to think how and Aristoteles was understood how they were understood uh, um, oh, in our modern time or in the first century when uh, Christianity was born in the system. So how they uh, read books by Plato or books by Aristoteles. Again, Aristoteles perhaps is a new approach to the old questions. So we, we can say, and perhaps when I will learn more about mysteries of uh, computer or internet, I will be able to bring some uh, very famous um, uh, painting by Raphael in 
fit uh, exactly uh, schools of thinking or of philosophizing. And you see an old doctor who is showing love, the ideas are important. But you see uh, also Aristotle that only what you see around, uh, what you can count, what you touch, what, it, what you can enumerate, this is important. In a way, we can say that capitalism was so the development and philosophy is a, um, a discovery of certain way of thinking and to look at the points in or we in, in this uh, new system. So one one of you wrote me a, an email asking uh, uh, which kind of questions or to listen in class or to read. There are some limits, or we can ask everything. The most uh, or answer questions. So I write to this gentleman that actually they are not limits to question. Also, also, although it is good to ask some questions connected with what you uh, read in the uh, reading list which I send you, or what about, uh, my way of questions so it's better to 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 discuss about this and not about weather or about politics because of course it's it is important but uh, perhaps uh, um, doing philosophy and it was also uh, the experience of the wasting time so you you are not um only learning new things, but you, you learn to question what you expect. So uh, uh, we can enumerate in other schools like stoicism, uh, skepticism, you know, all these uh, new names and perhaps also, new um, philosopher, which include, in, in, invite to our class as uh, with their own uh, receipt how to live. But the, the most, I would say, important is the method. Methods to philosophizing, right? So, so not study by practice. for philosophical approach to, to other become a different I think for, for Greeks look at them I would say it was concluded um, but
Brief. Bye.